Hey everybody, my name is Mike Tomorrow, and uh, I grew up in the state of Massachusetts, where Boston is the state capital. And it, the events of April 15th surely did rock my world. You know, the third Monday in April is always Patriots Day in Massachusetts. It's a state holiday. It's also celebrated in the state of Maine. On that day, you have the Boston Marathon. You have the Boston Red Sox game at 11 o'clock. And it's supposed to be a fun holiday for everybody. The holiday celebrates the uh, Paul Revere's ride up to Lexington and Concord in the beginning of that battle. But unfortunately, yesterday was not a good day to celebrate at all. And that was because of the, the bombings at the Boston Marathon at the finish line. The 117th Boston Marathon will be marked by the uh, explosions that occurred at the finish line at the Boston Marathon. Now, I had some friends that live in the Boston area. And I bet you I have family and friends also that uh, go out to Boston every single day, or, or not every single day, but they go out every single year for the Boston Marathon and the Boston Red Sox. And, you know, it's like I feel bad for them that they have to witness something like this. You know, I don't understand why people do what they do. It's wrong that they, that someone would have two bombs blow off in the city of Boston during the state holiday. And I've been seeing the people who got killed. There's actually three people that got killed. Two of the identities were released. And it's shameful that an eight-year-old kid had to die because of this event. And it's shameful that someone, a nice young lady that was towards my age, 29, had to die in the explosion, too. It's sad. Nobody should have to die like that. And it's pretty hard to cope with something like this. No matter where you're from, no matter where you are in the in the world. You know, I moved down here to Florida almost three years ago. And I still have tides to my family and friends up in Massachusetts. And in hearing about the Boston Marathon is the hearing about the explosion at the Boston Marathon made me upset that people how people can do this. It's wrong. It's a great event, and yet people want to take, it, take away the fun of it for us to enjoy it. You know? Why do they need to do this? Is the question I need to know. The answer to. And they just don't care about anybody. They just want to have fun on their own expense. They don't want to care about anybody else having fun. And they want to make evil. They want to make this world an evil place for all of us. You know, I don't understand why someone had to do that at the Boston Marathon. That is still a question I'm trying to figure out myself as well. Why would someone in their right mind, go to the Boston Marathon and do a horrific event like the explosions. You know? I hope everybody is making it okay out in Boston. You know? I hope that everybody is okay. Because I don't want to hear about another explosion. You know? We had to deal with Newtown, Connecticut four months ago and 
that was pretty hard, but I moved on. And now you hear about the Boston Marathon, and now we're going to have to move on from that too. You know, it's painful for someone like me who grew up in the state of Massachusetts to deal with something like that. You know, an iconic event, an iconic holiday for the city of Boston. And now we have to worry about events like explosions during a marathon. Give me a break. Nobody should have to deal with any marathon. Uh, no, nobody ha should have to deal with any bombings or any explosions during a marathon. No one should have to worry about that, you know? And London runs their marathon on Sunday, I think. So, and now people in London are going to have to step up their security to make sure that nothing happens to them in London. You know? It's just so hard. The world that we live in today, you know, people can be so evil. I don't understand why they're still living in this world. You know, they want to do these bad things to us. It's terrible. I don't know, I don't understand why they have to do this to us. It's wrong. You know? My thoughts and prayers do go out to the city of Boston. And go out to the victims of the Boston Marathon. And the victims of the explosions. My thoughts and prayers go out to the 8-year-old boy who got killed and the 29-year-old young lady. You know, no one should have to die for a horrific event like that. And my thoughts and prayers are with their families as we continue to heal from this. You know, it might take days before we figure out why someone would do this, especially to the city of Austin. Now, if I have... If I have to move back up to Massachusetts during any time, the next year, I, will, I want to volunteer at the Boston Marathon to show my support, to show my love for the city of Boston, and to help them out. You know, it would be a great opportunity if I did volunteer for the Boston Marathon. And if I do have to move, live in Mass next year or whatever, and I'm... Um, They'll up there, um, might consider volunteering for the Boston Marathon, you know, because I do want to see this great event at least once in my lifetime, and to volunteer for it, it would be a great idea, you know, I would love to help volunteer, so we'll see what happens, and I do have my thoughts and prayers on everybody in the city of Boston. So, I'll talk to you guys all later. Thank you for watching my video.